In this segment, we're going to focus on chemistry at work below the surface of the basketball. We all know about a basketball, right? It's pretty simple. Round, brown, and pebbly. Wrong. Because when you go inside, beyond the standard color and the vertical black lines and the tiny little hole where the air goes in, there's more to a basketball than meets the eye. Even in something as simple and familiar as a basketball, chemistry plays a significant role. Modern material science allows us to change all kinds of things and make them better. The outer shell of today's basketball is likely to be made of composite leather. But inside each basketball, the leather is reinforced with rubber, a mesh of nylon thread, and underneath it all, an inner lining of something called thermoplastic polyurethanes. Well, it's a type of material that can be heated and cooled and reshaped in infinite ways. Thermoplastic polyurethane, TPs as we scientists like to call them, are used for the inner lining of our friend the basketball because it's very pliable, resists tears and cracks, and doesn't shrink very much, even over long periods of compression. Compression is the major fact of a basketball's life. It happens every time a basketball is slammed against a hard, unyielding playing surface, whether on the floor of a basketball court or against a backboard. Throughout a game, the basketball must maintain a constant and standard pressure of 7.5 to 8.5 pounds. And thermoplastic polyurethanes, with their combination of stiff, rigid blocks and long, flexible chains of molecules, are on the job to make sure it does. Off the court, today's thermoplastic materials find many other uses. Because of their unique ability to be shaped and reshaped repeatedly, thermoplastic materials are perfect for recycling the plastic bottles we use every day. Thermoplastic materials are also used in fabrics, speaker enclosures, automobile parts, and hundreds of other products that we come into contact with every day. So, once again, the same science and engineering technologies that shape the serious parts of our lives are shaping the fun parts too.